This video is going to show you how I made my fall floral arrangement. We'll start with a piece of wet floral foam that we're going to cut down to fit our silver plate bowl. With a sharp knife, I'm just going to cut off the extra foam so that it will fit. Then I'm going to press that foam down in firmly to my bowl and use that little extra piece to fill out the side. You'll need some sharp clippers and we're going to start with our foundation florals which is this beautiful green hydrangea. Oops, I broke a piece. We'll use that later. base layer is this beautiful seeded eucalyptus and that's really going to give the arrangement um, some airiness and it's going to extend down onto the table so I'm just clipping away the extra at the stem and placing it all the way around my arrangement. to use some stems of the eucalyptus coming out the top. For height, I'm going to use these beautiful white Canterbury bells. I want the height to be about um, double my bowl height, and these are going to go right in the top. And I'm going to face them in the three different directions. Because this bowl will be in the center of my table arrangement, I want it to look great from all sides. Now that I've established my foundation florals and the height of my arrangement, I'm going to start adding in some color. And the first thing I'm going to use are these beautiful lavender pink uh, mums. They're so seasonal for autumn and they're going to add a really nice soft color that will complement the tablecloth I'm using. I'm placing the mums on all four sides of the arrangement, uh, two stems per side right now. And as you can see, I'm cutting away the bottom leaves and foliage so that the stem goes nicely into the floral foam. nice start to my fall floral arrangement with the mums and the eucalyptus and the hydrangea. Now it's time to add in the main star flower, these gorgeous orange roses. I'm cleaning up the stem of each rose so that it's easier to push down into the floral foam. position about three roses per side and one in the top center. When a rose is tightly closed, I just take my pinky finger and run it uh, inside the rosebud to loosen up those leaves. my third main flower, these golden-hued tulips. And I really love the graceful arch that tulips add to a floral arrangement. Um, and I'm going to use them to kind of introduce some air and lightness.
I'm going to come back in with a few more Canterbury Bells, again to kind of get some space and height. And that little hydrangea piece I broke off earlier, I'm going to find a spot for it down low. Finally, I'm going to come in with some filler flower in contrasting colors. Now I'm going to take a look at the arrangement overall to see if there are any holes that need a flower and some color. last filler flower in this golden yellow that I'm going to put in a few places. Then I'm going to use the shorter mum stems that I trimmed off the larger stems earlier to add some color around the base of the arrangement. To finish up the arrangement, I'm just taking a look at all sides and seeing where I need to pull out some flowers. I'm all done and I'm so pleased with how my autumn floral centerpiece looks. I hope this video has shown you some tips and tricks that you can use when you're arranging your floral centerpiece. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.